Hi, this is Chris, and welcome back to something else. Apple. Today on the show we have a Macintosh Performa 575 with a little booger of, of rubbing stain right here. She's as yellow as your mom's teeth and needs a little capacitor job. These are just LC 575s rebranded into whatever Apple felt like doing that day. On the back you will see that it has an Ethernet card and it's, I think it's a, what is that, a new bus slot? Uh, ADB and serial and SCSI external and this thing pops down, but the tabs broke off years ago, so I screwed it in. I don't know if it still works. Haven't turned it on in years. So I'm going to plug it in. Keyboard is my favorite keyboard in the whole Apple lineup, which is not, ironically, yellowed. It's the keyboard it came with. It's the Apple Design Keyboard, I believe it's called. Yes, Apple Design Keyboard. And you can just simply turn it on. Ooh, CRT tube by Sony Trinitron. You can press the button. Oh, the mouse also, single button mouse, of course, plugs into the back on the other ADB port. Don't like that too much, but I guess simplicity of cabling. There you go. I'm gonna shove this back as far as it'll go, which is that far and press the button. Chimes. Has a fan and a real hard drive in it. It's the only one that I have in the fleet that does not have... Mm. Getting off the whiskey dents here. <sighs> Has no battery. My monitor's not coming on. There it goes. Holy crap. Mac OS 8, I think? 7? I forget. Looks 8 to me. Crystal clear display. There's a massive amount of flicker on your screen because of the hertz of the monitor. This is a 68040 at 33 megahertz. Last in line for the Motorola 6840s in this LC series. Hence why everybody likes to do the 575s. Now the 580 came out shortly after this one. 97 era. And um, had a totally different card design and ports and more memory available. You can take them up to 64 or 32, something like that. La 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 la. As you can see, it is not the fastest machine in the world. Hey, your time and date's not set. It's going to be 1969. That's great. I got Wolfenstein 3D on here. Mac OS 8.1 with 36 megs of RAM because it has a VRAM slot, 32 megs and some virtual crap. RAM doubled to 90 megs with quarter decks Magna RAM. This machine works fine. Why is it on your channel? She needs some caps. Because like I said, the tabs in here broke off many moon ago due to deterioration. This folds down. I will put its screws in there. The hard drive is up here. She's a SCSI brand of, I don't know. This board pulls right out. She does not have a battery and does not have any battery damage. And I've already recapped this in the past. The Ethernet card, or the network card, pops off of the bus like this. And, boop, this looks like Visa Local Bus to me. What are we doing today? So this processor is a Motorola 6840 at 33 megahertz. But, it's an LC. Coming from the Amiga world myself, and this was one of my Macs back in the day, we're going to give her a little bit of a performance boost. This is a 68040 full branded. Now, this one is 25 megahertz, but it doesn't matter because it's going to clock itself to 33. In order to remove my CPU safely, we're going to need one of these. This is an Intel 486 overdrive processor PGA shovel. And how it works is like this. You stick this under the chip between the pin array. Now it doesn't fit perfect, but you get enough in there. There it goes. You get enough in this thing where you can just lift it ugh, a little bit 
You go around to the other side, lift, other side, lift, and just work your way around it. Now the sims are in the way on this one. So we'll lift extra hard, and then it pops out. Please note your orientation of your CPU, where your pins are. So now, with the chip wording straight up, pull this out, grab our full 60 to 40. Make sure your pins are straight, line her up. All right, I got it. Push this down. Hope to got it and butcher a pin. There we go. Full 040 with FPU and MMU built in. Now, reinstall my network card. I actually use this, believe it or not. There's no screws that hold it. The board slides into a tray, back into the device, and clicks in that bus slot up there. Now, I don't have to put this backing on until I know this works, which we're going to find out right now. There's our switch to turn on the high voltage. And let's see what happens. Does it work or does it blow up? Boom. All we did was swap the 33 for the 25 full. I just want to see. 8 megahertz is not going to kill it. There's my PRAM battery's missing reboot. This has a scrape of something crap on here. There was no heat sink on this unit. There we go. We'll see what it actually says now for the CPU. Sorry about the flickering. There's nothing I can do about it at all. It's crystal clear on my end. It just, you're gonna see this crap. Maybe that's why our heads hurt after hours of watching TV in the old days. I wanna do something. I have uh, silver lining white Mac drivers for the disc. Hopefully my gear's intact. We're gonna find out in a second. This floppy's only been used about 10 times in its life. So we're going to do an ASP and see what it says now. 68040 at 33 megahertz, 570 series, machine ID 92. Open dock. 36 megs, virtual memory is on. So it's still running at 33 megahertz with a 68040 at 25, but it has an FPU. I have Mac IPX on here. Oh my gosh. Bye bye IPX. I don't need PPP on here either. Just try and do a yeah, ramp quarter deck RAM doubler eight. Remote access I could turn on. That's funny. Screen sound speech startup TCPIP. Token ring is turned off. Uh, speed startup extension. Let's see what else do I got turned off. The Apple modem tool I don't need. I don't really need Apple Script. Apple Talk I do need. We're going to reboot. I have FTP software on here because I get to my XServe and FTP stuff over to here. I use this machine to make System 6 floppy disks for an Amiga shapeshifter card and uh, a couple other implant emulation of Macintosh cards for the Amiga. So this is the only 68K Amiga I have, so I kind of keep this one period correct with a hard drive. I kind of enjoy the clicking. It's not fast and it's not meant to be fast. It's always 1994 here in the old basement. And this is the era of Macintosh I love. The pre-Tim. Volume controls and brightness are on the front. ID, not id. Runs fine. Look at that. Oh, a little laggy. There we go. Not bad at all for an overclocked 25 megahertz. But that's pretty cool. We're going to command Q. Get out of that. This is a stupid video. It's just something I wanted to do to this machine for a long time. Now you can reduce your screen to increase your graphical performance because these were just crap back in the day. Look at the lag on this. Oh my goodness. Now it would actually run at a decent performance.
Then you want bigger, you could increase it a little bit, but you're going to get lag. See the lag coming through? Wolfenstein 3D ran so much better. Put my monitor back to 800 by 600 millions of colors. Stuff it. Expander. Register to me. On stuff, please. To the hard drive. On stuff. Oh, I don't have enough hard drive space. <laughs> what size is this hard drive? Oh, it's 260 megabytes, of which I have 45 left. Capacity 258. Used 212. Yeah, we didn't have a lot of space back in the day. I have Netscape Navigator 3.01. Here's Google. There's Google. We're going to search for old web. You can now browse the web like it's 1999 again. No, you can't. And I use this to FTP stuff. So. There you go. So 26 megs. It has a minute and 30 left. Look at that flicker. Hi, it's many hours later. I could have put a 2032 cell in here with the 2032 LIR, which is a rechargeable 3.6 volt lithium ion. That way it would continue to hold the time, but I don't use it enough to warranty worrying about yet another battery in here. The big test. All right, there's the Mac disc with my silver lining. Let's see if it ejects. Here we go. Still works after all this time. I just leave the disc like sitting in there. So that's all I got for this rendition of What the Apple. And uh, maybe we'll use this more in the future. I do have a whole section of XServe, iMac, and other videos. Maybe I will convert this one to a Zulu or SCSI to SD or some other method. But it's working fine for now with its 250 megabyte hard drive. And will continue so for many years. That's all I got for now. Thanks for watching. And I hope you learned something. Funny, you bastard.